Hey, my name is Nick Brophy. I'm a mixer, engineer, producer, and songwriter. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And some of the artists I've worked with have been the Rolling Stones, Hootie and the Blowfish. I've written songs for Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney, Rascal Flatts. Uh, today, we're going to dive into the completely revamped uh, Studio Rack plugin. I put together a vocal chain. It's called NB Vocal. And for me, it's like the Swiss Army knife for, for vocals. It gives you all kinds of options. I found that, especially in songwriting situations where you want to get a vocal going and you're not sure from the get-go what you want to uh end up with but you just want to have options so you don't want to stop and set up complicated uh, chains of effects and returns and do all that stuff uh, while you're in the writing scenario so this is a great way to store all of that into one plugin and then just throw that on the vocal and uh, away you go you know i've wanted to cram so much into one plugin and I have limited real estate here. I have some of the knobs that work counterclockwise and clockwise, like the radio or distortion, for example, is a control that if you turn it counterclockwise, you go into your radio sound. And if you turn it clockwise, you go into your distorted sound. Let's take it down to nothing. We got compressor off, no EQ being added, no radio or distortion, no doubling. Everything's just straight up the middle. So let's dive into this thing and I'll show you what's included. Some of the plugins I used were I started with the VEQ3 for its killer EQ, that nice air on the, the top end handles the low end really well. If you go to the macros, you can see that the macro is controlling the plugin. You can probably tell that the low end is changing as well as the low mids that are tied to it. And with one knob, you can control both. So that's a pretty cool feature right there that you can assign your plugin parameters to be controlled by the macro. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? 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 Ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? So if you notice that we're going into the deesser, followed by the CLA 76, as I added compression that just didn't turn up the volume, I designed into this plugin Unity Gain, so it's not just adding level, but it's just adding the compressor effect. I think that's really handy for a being to really know what you're doing, because sometimes you can be fooled into thinking it sounds better when it's just louder, you know. So let's crank up all the compression, and then. With our filter effect, we do a parallel split of two options for distortion. One is kind of a filtered radio sound, and that's using the SSL channel. And then we go into a more like overdriven or saturated sound, which is the Abbey Road Saturator plugin. Love this for overdriven vocals. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? And if I turn it clockwise. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Saturated sound. Are you ready? That's coming from the Abbey Road Saturator plugin. Then we go into another parallel split, which has our doubler options. And we have doubler two, option one. And then option two is a parallel split. Uh, then I did another parallel split within um, and strung nine H delays together and panned them in random ways to kind of emulate the Ursa Major Space Station setting number four, which I love and I've used a lot. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Yep, that's option one, which is the uh, double or two. And then we'll go to the Ursa Major. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? 
So that's basically nine delays strung together and panned all random. So it gives them more of a fuller sound for the double, like more people. Then we go into another parallel split, which is uh, the delays and reverbs. And I started with the J37 tape slap. This is a killer plug-in for that effect. Then we go into uh, the other short delay, which is just uh, another H delay set on eighth note. Let's listen to the J's 37 slap. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Such a cool tape slap. I love it. And then we'll go to our other short delay, which is the eighth note. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Cool. And then we go into the longer delays, which was another H delay set on a quarter note. And then I have two more H delays, again, a parallel split within a parallel split. The H delay one is set on an eighth note dotted, panned left, and a, uh, H delay two is set on a quarter note, panned right, and that gives a nice bouncing uh, effect. That's not your typical ping pong delay. It's pretty cool. If I turn counterclockwise, the quarter note. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you... And then the bounce delay. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Going into H reverb, there's two H reverbs. One is set for a shorter vocal verb, and the other is set at a longer vocal verb. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? And then we'll go long reverb. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? So that's what's under the hood. Um, as you can see, it's uh, got a lot of options right there at your fingertips. So you can hide all of that rack and not necessarily have to access the individual plugins because now Studio Rack has macros that you can assign. I love Studio Rack. The new version with the parallel splits and multiband splits is kind of a game changer because now you can construct your returns, your effect returns, and do complete chains that would take you quite a bit to set up and you can store them all in the plugin and then open that in any DAW. It's great for, again, dialing in quick vocal sound um, and having options. It's kind of a game changer. Are you ready for this?